Hey you guys, it's Julia. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to be showing you what is in my current makeup bag. So this is the makeup bag that I just throw in my purse, throw in my work bag. If I'm headed straight out the door, like this is what I grab. And it's nothing too exciting, but I thought that I would show you and just share what I carry around with me for makeup. So this is my makeup bag. It is a La Sports Sack. My sister, my older sister got this for me quite a few years ago. I definitely... Wow, I don't even know how long I've had this, but it's been years, at least since college. I would say at least I've had this for probably at least five years, and I've used it since she gave it to me. And I mean, it is worn at the corners and stuff, but like, it has definitely a lot more years to go. And the zipper still works amazingly well. Um, it's quite dirty, but it's, one, it's a material that you can just wipe right up if you need to. So just getting right into it so the zipper does come all the way across and then when you open it it has um these little pieces of fabric to like keep stuff from falling out the side so I really like that so my makeup bag like I said isn't too exciting but it's practical and it's like the perfect size to like throw in my purse or throw in my bag and I so I can't put like too much stuff in there. Sometimes I feel like I could use a blush throughout the day but I just haven't, if I had a blush like that would re require bringing a brush and I just feel like thus far in my life like it hasn't been that big of a deal like everything that I need is in this bag. So first of all I have bobby pins. So I'm just going to go through this bag, pull out what I have in here. So this little compact has bobby pins in it. It has really long bobby pins. It has the regular size bobby pins and then it has colored bobby pins over here. Super, super handy. I love this little thing. Next I have this mirror in here. It's just a two-sided mirror. One side is just a regular mirror and then the other side is a magnified mirror. Also I have in here, this is kind of embarrassing, but I have this this eyebrow pencil in this baggie um, and the reason I did that is because the eyebrow pencil is too small to go into its cap because it gets stuck inside of the cap so I've just thrown it in this baggie so that it doesn't dry out or anything. Next I have this foundation sample it's the Kat Von D foundation sample in light 40 shade 44. I got this from Sephora and um, I didn't like this foundation as an all over. I found that it clogged my pores. And so I've just been using it like throughout the day if I need a little bit of a touch up. Like I just use it as concealer basically. Next I have eyebrow, I mean eyelash curlers. These do not have a brand on them but they work just great. So I always am curling my eyelashes on the go. Next I I'll go through lip products. So first of all, I have this Seal Bigelow Cinnamon Menthol Lip Shine. I'm trying to use this up. Next, I have Bites, Bite Beauty Luminous Cream Lipstick in the shade Apricot. It's a reddish shade, another lipstick that I'm trying to use up, but I haven't been very good about that. The next lipstick I have in here is my most favorite lipstick right now. It's Max Myth. Beautiful. Ugh, beautiful. Go get you this. It's so good. Next, I have this Burt's Bees Chapstick in Mint Cocoa. Mint Cocoa is by far my most favorite flavor of, chaps of chapstick that Burt's Bees has come out with. Um, my last lipstick is this NYX Power Lipstick. It's one of their round lipsticks. This is a lipstick that I'm also trying to use up, and I'm wearing it today. It's a beautiful shade. For lip liners, I have... Rimmel's Tiramisu Lip Liner, just a really nice brownie nude. I have Max Stone Lip Liner, another lip product that just goes with everything. Absolutely love that. Holy Grail, so amazing. Next, I have this Makeup Forever Lip Liner Perfector. It's basically just like wax in pencil form, and you just outline the outside of your lips, like if you're going to wear a red lipstick or something and you don't want it to travel outside of your lip line. Next, I have these tweezers. These are awful. I would not recommend these. The brand is Dan Danielle. I got them at TJ Maxx or something. Not good. 
Uh, next I have three hair elastics. I always have three hair elastics with me. I always have two big ones and then one small one. And I like the hair elastics that don't have the um, metal piece on them. And finally I have this little baby monster clip to clip my bangs back. I'm growing my bangs out right now. For the past like two years I've had blunt straight across bangs. I'm growing them out right now so this little guy comes in handy a lot. So that's it you guys. That's the inside of my makeup bag. Again this thing has just held up through so much. It's like water proof and the inside like if I spilled something in there or powder got in there it wipes right out it's just amazing this makeup bag really is the star of the show so La Sports Act you guys mm-hmm mm-hmm that's where it's at and also I feel like this pattern is pretty timeless like I don't really feel like it's like totally out of style or totally out of date so yeah Alright you guys, thank you so much for joining me. Let me know if you think that I need to add anything into here. Like I said, maybe some blush or something. But a lot of times it, that would be a tight squeeze I think. So, I don't know. Maybe I need to have like a separate makeup bag that I'm bringing on like a date night or something. Where I might have to touch up my blush. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you again soon. Bye guys.